Hello, and welcome to Atomic Heart. You know, I wanted to play this game a while ago. Uh, yeah, look at that. I wanted to play this game a while, while ago because I wanted to make sure... I wanted everything set to the highest possible setting here. that save? I think it did. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I wanted to do this at some point, but uh, you know, I didn't think about it when I first started, so I didn't make it very far in the game, but I did play a little bit before recording, uh, but that was when it came out. It's been a little while since, but now I've got a new PC and we can play it on the highest possible settings at 4K. And you all get to sit here and enjoy it with me. How exciting. This game is honestly incredibly good looking. The... I don't know, the... There's some things really about this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. It really does look nice, though, doesn't it? Now, I, okay. Uh, I'll promise this is the last time I'm going to interrupt. I want to make sure that all my settings are correct now that I'm actually looking at it. I don't know what this does. What the hell is Fidelity FX Super Resolution? The other things actually say what it does. Also doesn't say what this does, other than like if this is on or that is on. Okay. I do work. I don't. That's going to affect things. We're just gonna ignore that. No. Okay. Everything looks fine and I'm not lagging. The camera feels a little sharp and janky, but that's not important. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Now, this is honestly really... Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, sure, thanks. Sure, thanks. What flavor of soda is this? It looks like cream soda or something. I mean, it's like light tan. But the thing has a cleaning device in it. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here's Is that still working on the robot's navigation yeah, system? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day. With your Vovas box on train. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, Bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, 
my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You, I don't know why they made... Yeah, I don't know why they made the main character so unlikable with the way he talks about... Like, I wish I could, I don't know, voice the character a little more myself. You know, make him less of an asshole. <gasps> I play the character, the characters. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey! How about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't gonna come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. You know, the first time I said... Uh, All right, then. But, eh, might as well. Do I get to pick the color I want? Nope, I just take the pink one. Is that random? Or do I just, do I, like, take whichever one it's just at when it's spinning? Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you, experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like, glove. I mean, I think this thing is designed to, like, get you part of the I'm looking, listen to him go. Amazing dexterity. Really? I don't know, I could do that. And I suck at dancing. I was. That is like slow as hell. I don't know, maybe it was like two times faster. Right? Right. 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 Comrades, assemble near the Brown Plague Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean,. Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. This is interesting. I think that if I... Yeah, so it'll d translate things when I'm looking. Just 
discovery of polymerization, a polymer, 1936. Such a research team is assembled in 1937. A pivotal moment in the history of science and geology with the various minds of the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including com uh, comrades Vivilov, Vavilov, Zakharov, Koryalov, Kol Kol I, I wish I could pronounce all these Lebedev, Pavlov, Kurchatov, I skipped one, Suchnov, Monaco, pretty sure I pronounced that one wrong. Chalamet, I know how to pronounce that one, joined forces, forces forming a scientific group that lays the foundation of an astonishing scientific and technological advancement in the USSR and beyond. Excuse me. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Realizing that its fall is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible shame for the human blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague into the world. The disease kills with incredible spread. There's no salvation from a monstrous pandemic, and existing drugs are powerless against it. Wow, really? So in this one, the Third Reich released a super virus? Up. Creation of facility, blah, blah, blah. A worldwide state sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched prior to Soviet science's creative facility 3826, the apex of scientific progress and the home of the greatest scientists in the world. I was a field medic then. Such an offense. Collective 1.0, 1948. The collective 1.0 neural network is successfully launched. Country the country world's country world first global service. network. It brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. Do we never cure the virus? Oh, that was like mentioned back happening in 1942. And it, we didn't mention like a finding a cure for it or anything. And first man space flight in 1951. An unbelievable scientific breakthrough. Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin is the first man to fly into space. Fancy. What was the first manned mission into space? Like, when did that actually happen? Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of we the solar system, all the most distant, most distant stars, and right now, of we are taking life. our first steps on He's this historic journey. He's talking over himself. That's impressive. Wish I could say the same, say things whilst I'm already saying things. Wouldn't that be wrong? Major Nechayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade tried, Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. You think that with all the advanced technology, they could make her sound less, you know, robotic. I mean... Or at least have less of a up and down pitch shifting voice. You know. Nice classical music. Fancy. Just throw it on the ground. Like, what is it not useful anymore? Can no one else use that? You thing? have just it's upgraded just your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the, the sensors cool. in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. 
To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? In other words, Demon loser. Gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever Sorry, that what guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. What's up, double major loser? Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Yeah, this looks a lot better in this graphics quality. When I was playing it on my old computer, these uh, these things were like little more than moving JPEGs almost. Like the way they were, they looked after they got a certain ways away, they actually sort of just turned into sliding figures without proper movements or something. I can't even remember how to describe it. It was bad though. Now, look at them. It's fancy. It actually looks pretty good. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov. And this is facility 3826. I think they can also admit bet better, you know, holographic videos, oh, please. Welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest events in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing report to the lobby of that high rise, comrade Major. That will profound way to change the world as we know it. Can I read that? I wonder if there's like a text pop-up. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Yeah, keep going, eventually you'll get it all. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a world So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The, the car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Humans and it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Humans yeah, be not able to control machines with their thoughts alone. And finally, we will be free to forget the device nice floor. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. I present to you the device of the future. I like how you can actually see the pixels of the screen whenever you get close to it. Human beings to be at the center of collective like point out monitors a and uh, TVs, whenever they have box TVs and stuff. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of Nowadays, all Nowadays, you, you can't even really see that kind Thanks of to the because of how detailed you uh, screens have gotten. With your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control oh, yeah. panels, cumbersome communication. If you notice, the elevator is slowly spinning. You can tell because, like, look at the point of these. They're moving slowly to the right. So this is like a spinning elevator. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. I have a feeling this whole thought neural connector thing is going to end up being, you know, dangerous. Or, you know, talk like, about the idea that anyone can learn Science nuclear physics power, in a day. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major.
Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Cough, Thanks, cough, Einstein. Sexy what would I ever cough, do without cough. you? <laughs> you know, as the internet has decided. Oh, Section off here. Looking. Sorry I can't meet with you in Ours. person, my boy. Hey, the reporters have been hounding me all day. Now we're moving slightly to the so, left. What do you down. think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Loser. Still use. They still use gas, but they got some fancy electric BS going on. You think they'd all be ran on nuclear power or something, or that's hydrogen polymer, some other BS? I doubt these robots are powered by gas. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in one every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. I wish I could look more left and right. This is like the farthest I can look. And then it like tries to force me back if I look a little bit further. I can't even look up all the way. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just look forward. I'll just sit back and enjoy the ride along with you guys. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to like a I damn robot? This main Were all the jets taken yeah. or something? Shit. Riding respect. turbines is an important tradition. Playing. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? 
How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Why do I gotta be so rude? Come on, guy. E3 or whatever. Hey, wait a second. Do you see the ring on that uh, statue, that Adam model? It was spinning through the finger of the hand. Come on, guys. You couldn't have, I don't know, not done it to where that happened on the model. Like, really? Just went right through that hand. Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the maglev train lines. Here's a question, how do you make a hanging maglev train? Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, that, you know, allowing personnel there. to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. How's it maglev if it floats below the rail? We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected like, in 1949 well, to mark the Soviet Union's victory like in World War II, and are now entering yeah, the grounds right of the Vavilov Complex, oh, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. I mean, we've Our done brief that guided long. tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. And that was just the intro to the game. Major, the trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. I don't stop. think I ever put on a seatbelt. Kind of a dumb move on my part, you know? You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Marvel Hall College. Strong facilities. 
Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Now here's a question. What the hell are Why you is doing? she not hostile? Bots, get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Voice acting could use some fuck off, bitch. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Well... Do you have some questions? <laughs> oh. uh, now the game truly begins. I'm surprisingly unbloodied from, you know, a fall in a glass tube. Also, where's all the glass? Did I fall out of it and then it landed somewhere else? Dude wears a turtleneck. He's rocking it, though. <laughs> you, you do you, man. And maybe uh, stop being such an ass. That's not gonna happen. Not anytime soon. I wonder if the voice lines would be better if it was in Russian. Uh, oh, shit, my head's killing me. Uh. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of out. Let's take a look at the controls real quick. And there's a couple important things. None of that. Where the hell is it? Ah, here we are. Customized bindings. Dodge is on left shift. Is there a sprint, or is sprinting just a thing that you do when you're walk walking around or running normally? I think that's just a normal thing. Yeah, so. Okay. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. 
Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? I mean, let's be honest. Would anyone be f confused by that? It sounds like a fucking robot. Like, it doesn't sound like a person. They have a very Shit, clear uh, voice. Get away from me! at almost choked to death there give me a hand oh, I didn't see that coming mm. oh you should be more careful this place is a damn madhouse yeah I noticed uh -huh. thanks for the help no sweat sonny what are you doing here anyway oh just passing through who are you me Zena granny Zena that's all you need to know fine I get it so what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, See, I looked at that post... 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! I, look at the, I looked at that wooden fucked. post before I went over to the house. No that, good! That keyhole wasn't Get there. Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 no! Take this key and turn it not clockwise. There at all. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to me! You hang on to that key. The voice I acting comes a lot of work in this game, honestly. Probably its biggest flaw. Holy shit! Goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. How do I... I can hear you all around. Alright, here we are. 
so. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Vavilov complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, uh, who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Seriously? Robots? I don't think robots are capable of deception. They would not, you know, pretend to be a human. I mean, I say that, but then there was that help me thing with that robot in the toilet earlier, actually, now that I think about it. So, you know, I, I, I only got hurt wrong just thinking about it. Hang on! Hang on! actually have pretty nice display things, all the things considered. What are these, like, racist stereotypes or something? So we got a black boxer, a kung fu yellow Asian rabbit, and a really tall, uh... I don't know what the tall one's supposed to be, actually, now that I think about it. An, just an American basketball player or something? Wait a bloody minute. It's looping already. Man, what a shit. <sighs> and the machines rose from... give you some advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. It's annoying because I can't press G to, you know, start the playback whenever they're talking. And they talk constantly. So picking these things up, I, I have to, like, go do this manually. Do I have to keep the menu open to listen to that? Because that seems counterintuitive, considering I could play it before without having to have it open. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. Yep, and don't Granny call me Zena. Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I... He's pretty high rank. I like the looting system in this. There's something very satisfying about it. I think that's everything. Guess I gotta go through the window. I can't break the window though. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. 
I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Tap E fast! Could not tap it fast. I was not expecting to hold tap They didn't mention that whenever they told me to do that. that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Well, I didn't really read through that, but if y'all want to, you're welcome to pause and do so. Let me scroll through it for you. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a second. Okay? As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel, but I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. What the hell were they doing? Like, they were leaving messages for a long time. Humanity at its absolute worst. I speak not only of our errant and misguided neighbors to the West, or the ravages of capitalism, but also of our own fellow citizens. But I knew all along, as soon as we unite people into a single collective, they will understand. I almost feel like he's, uh... 
he's actually trying to, like, with this whole Collector 2.0, he's trying to mind control everyone so that they, you know, do what he wants them to do, you know? I don't know. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! lucky that that did not completely land on us. But I think that's where we're going to call this episode. I hope Molly, to see you in the next soldier. one. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You know, after this you okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! I don't want to die! I'm pretty sure I just saw her crawl into a vent over there on the wall. So I think she actually got away. Holy shit! Avoid the beam! how it's a, a press space to get revenge, not press space to respawn or anything like that. I am going <laughs> to... I was just talking about calling the episode. I am going to, as soon as we kill this robot, you know. I might as well do that before. You know. Is it on fire? There it was. Stop that. shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Okay. <laughs> with that, we're going to call the episode. I hope you all enjoyed this first foray into Atomic Heart. Don't you just love the Russian atmosphere? The murderous robots and crazy bullshit in sci-fi stuff, you know? Kind of uh, why I love the Stalker series and why I love Tarkov and, you know, just all of those games, the Metro series. All of them have a special place in my heart. But I think that this is where I leave you. Have a great day, everybody. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know all that. If you're still here at the end, I want you to know you're cool. <laughs>